we're going to double the length of an array. I have one here. It's an array of int, uh, int values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to double it. But you can't actually double an array directly. You can only make new arrays that are bigger and copy stuff from one to the other. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to have an int array called destination. It's going to be twice as big as the old one. Well, so I'm going to make a new int array. And the size of it is going to be source dot length times 2. I could have just typed in the value 10, but that's not very general or generic. So if I were to, this is a, a good way to do it so that no matter what values I had had up here, this is always going to work. Less likely to make mistakes if you make it general. So with an int array, you're going to get a whole bunch of zeros here. This is 10 zeros in a row in this, um, in this array. So let's copy all the values from our source to our destination. So a for loop. I'm going to have an index value i that I'm going to iterate through with. And I want to do that as long as i is less than the length of the source. So this means that we're going to go from 0 through 4, which are the index values that we want, because source.length is 5. And each time through, we're going to um, increment i by 1. So I want the destination value to become equal to the source value at every spot i from 0 up to 4. So that's all there is to it. I've copied all the values. I'm going to print them all out to show you how it's how the array is filled. Now this time I want i to go from 0 up to the length of the destination um, array. And this is a different variable i. The old one expired when the first for loop um, up here finished. So this is a new i and I want to print out a little message for each one. System.out.println the value at position i is, and I'm going to make that the destination value at i. And this is going to go through the entire destination array and print each value out. So let's compile and run that. And you can see here I've got values for position 0 is value 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the remainder are all zeros. My original array is copied here, and I've got room to move down here now. Thanks.